Disinformation is a surprisingly old tactic of war. What's new today is the speed and sweep of its reach and the skill of its manipulation. Imagine one day information spreads online in a hostile area that a critical road now has a checkpoint controlled by an armed group. For members of the local community, it's hard to verify without considerable effort and actual risk. Soon residents stop travelling to markets and workplaces. The consequences in everyday lives are real, even when the information isn't. Meanwhile, a video of a school ablaze appears online, blaming a minority group for the violence. Later, a post accuses one person and shares their home address. These narratives spreading online soon morph into real-world violence. At the same time, a humanitarian worker is seen meeting with an armed group. Rumours swirl in the local community. And yet it's a misunderstanding. They're meeting to ensure the safe evacuation of any wounded person. As the capacity to spread misinformation and disinformation rises ever more quickly, it's essential that international humanitarian law is upheld to help those in need. The impacts on people's lives are real, even when the information isn't.